Shalom and welcome to GMS Gals in the Streets. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, whom I worship. Double honors to my other apostles, Great Millstone, who taught me this word of sincerity and the truth and who rule well. And salutations to all the Akim throughout the world who are sincere and believing and pushing this word. And to all the families, believing families of Yeshua out there. Uh, may the Lord bless you and yours and your families and may he um, deliver you in the day of uh, of his second return and strengthen you against the mark of the beast. So this is a uh, article that I seen on RT not too long ago. I, actually, I just seen this about, I'll say about five minutes ago. And this is just, you know, the, the angels are manifesting themselves more and more and E cannot handle it they cannot they don't know what to do they they're frightened they don't know what's going on and they're trying to come up with all kind of excuses of these you know um unidentifiable aerial phenomenon as they call it uaps and they're trying to come up with all kind of scientific uh reasons why these are not foreign vehicles you know uh to earth and these are the angels. They're, they're manifesting themselves and they're going to manifest themselves more and more as we approach the day of the coming of our Lord. All right, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay, who was uh, crucified and resurrected uh, more than 2,000 years ago. Okay, a little over 2,000 years ago, let me say. Title of this article is It's a Dang UFO. Mysterious object puzzles witnesses after blazing across Florida sky. Video and photos. I'm going to play the video. Uh, it reads, Beach walkers uh, out to watch the first sunrise of 2020 were left bewildered by the sudden appearance of a mysterious flying object in the sky above Florida's east coast on New Year's Day. Uh, several early risers walking on beaches in the city of Fort Pierce, were stunned to see an unexplained object streak across the sky in the moments before sunrise on Wednesday, as well as a fiery trail. The, the, partic the peculiar object also left a raft of questions in its wake as eyewitnesses struggled to comprehend what they had seen. I knew I was looking at I knew what I was looking at was either a missile or a rocket. Witness John Simmer told local news outlet WPTV. What I couldn't understand was why was I seeing it uh, in that area because there there's no launch pads out in the ocean. Simmer, who was at the beach to uh, photograph the first sunrise of the new year, shared footage of the strange occurrence on Facebook, asking his followers if they had ever seen a rocket that was moving. If that's a rocket, it's the world's slowest moving rocket. It's a dang UFO is what it is. Actually, he says a goddamn UFO is what it is, he said. I'm going to play the video. Hercules is barking. Ever see a rocket stand still? Oh, it's not moving. So that, there's that. And then, where is it? I can't pick it up with the camera. Oh, there it is. You say it's moving. It's moving awful slow.
Bob, that's a rocket. That is the world's slowest moving rocket. It's a goddamn UFO is what it is. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on it now. that much. Hercules is barking. Okay, so you heard him. He said, he said, uh, you know, if that's a rocket, it's the world's slowest moving rocket. It's a, it's a goddamn UFO is what it is. And that's exactly what it was. It's a cherry of the Lord. All right. They come in many shapes and forms. And that's exactly what he saw. All right. They're going to see more of them. It says, however, uh, Sanford Manley, a former historian with the U.S. Strategic Air Command, poured cold water on Simmer's theory. Of course he will because, you know, that's... That's what they're they're paid to do, you know, uh, to debunk things that are real. Claiming that what people actually saw was the contrail of a plane being illuminated by the rising sun. Uh, the plane, so in other words, people wake up and then they try, you know, these are spin doctors. They, 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 they put people back to sleep. The plane is very high, catching the sunlight. Uh, before the sun has come up, therefore it's glowing red. Manley said he explained that the phenomenon typically occurs more often during sunsets and sunrises, which is bullshit. As you saw, the object was not moving at all. It says after Simard appeared on local news stations, his daughter Melissa Crystal Simard said that Facebook is fact-checking his photos. We think the government is onto him. Of course, she joked, but that was true. Shit is crazy. What what the fuck did my dad witness? And what your dad um, uh, uh, a word and a message to you, Melissa, Miss Melissa, Crystal Simmered. What what your what your father had witnessed was an actual sighting of a UFO. And the UFOs are in the Bible. These are the chariots of God. These are the, these are the uh, the uh, vehicles in which the angels travel in. And I'm going to uh, present to you a uh, uh, some verses from the Bible to prove this. We're going to go to the book of Ezekiel. The first chapter. This is Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 1, and it reads, Now it came to pass in the thirtieth year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Kabar, that the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God, or of the Most High. In the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's captivity, the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel, the priest, the son of Buzai, in the land of the Chaldeans, by the river of Kibar, or Kabar. And the, and the hand of the Lord was there upon him. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself. Now, now uh, Melissa's father saw fire coming out of this object. Now, this ob object was not uh, cylindrical in nature. It was more, more of a, uh, more of a, uh, more of a, you know, you know, like a, a cigarette shape or something like that. And uh, that's what he saw, and it, it, and it stood still, but it was emitting this fire, right? And the brightness was was about it, and there was a brightness 
there was a brightness after it, right? And out of the mist thereof, as the color of amber, right? Color of amber, which is fire, and that's what he saw out of the mist of the fire. Okay, and it's, and, and and Ezekiel said, and uh, also out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures, and this was the appearance. They had the uh, the likeness of a man. So then he goes to explain of the the living creatures that came out of these vehicles. Okay, of these these uh, so called UFOs. All right, and everyone had four faces, and everyone had four wings. And their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass, showing you that the angels are what you would what, what you would consider them as so-called black beings, because brass is a derivative of brown, and they had and they and they they were they were glowing. All right, they had a, a certain aura about them. And they had the hands of a they and they had the hands of a man under their wings because, like as it is written in uh, in uh, in uh, Genesis, uh, man, man was created in the image of 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 the powers of uh, uh, the angels, right? Of the of the Most High, His Son, and the angels, and also that goes into uh, the the righteousness of the Lord, right? It says. Uh, and they had hands of a man under their wings on their four sides, and they four had their faces and their wings. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. They went every one straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man. These are going into the characteristics of the angels. They four had the face of a man, the face of a lion, and the and uh, on the right side. And they four had the face of an ox on the left side, and they four also had the face of an eagle. Now, what that represents is that the, the face of a man, because they were they looked like men, but they were like extraterrestrial men, you know, which were the angels. The face of a lion. Now, that's the characteristic of the lion represents courage, right? They were very courageous looking in nature on the right side. And they four had the face of an ox on the left side because an ox was known for its uh, ox or oxen are known for their strength. So the angels are very, very strong or mighty ones in certain scriptures they are, they are called. They four also had the face of an eagle and an eagle is known as uh, uh, known to be swift in flight. So this is these are the characteristics of the angels. Okay? It says, Thus were their faces and their wings were stretched upward. Two wings of every one were joined one to another, and two covered their bodies. And they went every one straight forward. Whether they uh, whether the spirit was to go, they went. And they turned not when when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, and like the appearance of lamps. And that's what you—that's what he was watching. He was seeing like a, like a lamp in the sky. It went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright. And that's what he saw. He saw the bright fire, man. And it says, "And out of the fire went forth lightning, showing you that these these vehicles caused lightning to come out of them." Okay. So certain of these lightning storms are coming straight out of these vehicles. And the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. And this happens every day, but they don't show themselves like that. Sometimes they decide to show themselves and sometimes they don't. They could do that. Now, as I beheld the living creatures, where were the, which were the angels and the chariots, behold, one wheel, which was the chariot, upon the earth by the living creatures. Right, there was a there was one UFO by one of these living creatures, which was an angel, with his four faces. The appearance of the wheels, which are the so-called UFOs, we call them chariots or the vehicles of the Lord, and their work was like unto the color of a barrel, which means green. And they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel, right? And that's what flying discs 
one disc or a disc within another disc and that's what the the the, the, the common the common uh, um, um, sightings of UFOs are like this it's like a uh, it's like discs within another disc okay uh, but this one that this man saw was not like that you know you have different they, they come in different uh, shapes and forms. Okay, I'm just showing you that in the Bible it explains these uh, these UFOs. Okay, um, as for their rings, uh, I'm sorry. Let me uh, go back to it. Says uh, 18. It says, as for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful. I'm sorry. Let me go back to. Right, 16. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of a barrel, and they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. When they went, they went upon their four sides, and they turned not when they went. As for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful. And their rings were full of eyes. That's talking about all the lights around about them. Around about the, the UFOs. Around about, right up, round about them four. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. So wherever the angels went, the, the, these UFOs would follow them. Whithersoever the spirit was to go, they went. Thither was their spirit to go, and the wheels were lifted up over against them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. So it was, it was like the UFOs were one with the angels. Okay, and this the, uh, the these UFOs are part of the glory of the children of Israel, the inheritance of the children of Israel, uh, especially the elect, when they are delivered from the from the destruction that's about to happen. Uh, verse 21, it says, When those went, these went. And when those stood, these stood. And when those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up over against them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. And the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creature was as the color of the terrible crystal stretched forth over their heads above. And I was talking about the what, what you would call the ozone layer. That protects us from the harmful rays of the sun, right? From the radiation of the sun. And under the firmament were their wings straight, uh, the one toward the other. Every one had two which covered on this side, and every one had two which covered on that side their bodies. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings. So, they're, so, so, the, so the UFOs or, or these chariots do make a noise, okay? Like the noise of great waters, as the voice of the Almighty, of the Most High. The voice of speech, as the noise of an host. When when they stood, they let down their wings. And so this is like the, 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 the propulsion systems and landing equipment that they had. And when they took off, that, that he heard. And there was a voice from the firmament. That was over their heads when they stood and had let down their wings. And and above the firmament, firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne as the appearance of a sapphire stone. And upon the likeness of the throne was like uh, was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. And more than likely that was our Lord, Yahweh Shad. And I saw as the color of amber, which is fire, as the appearance of fire round about within, uh, within it, from the appearance of his loins even upward, and from the appearance of his loins even downward, I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had brightness round about it. And that's talking about the bright lights that it had and the, the actual uh, fire from the propulsion of them, as the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud, in the day of rain, 
So was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. So these, these chariots uh, are also known as the glory of the Lord. All right. These chariots are the vehicles of the Most High and, and His Son, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and the holy angels traveling. And, and when I saw it, I fell upon my face and I heard a voice of one that spake, showing you that within these vehicles, you have beings inside, holy beings, which are the angels of the Lord. Okay, and within these chariots, you have you have thrones. You know, you have you know it's 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 gonna be a beautiful day when and these are the vehicles that are coming to deliver uh, the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, of of the Lord's chosen people. So this is beautiful, man. This is beautiful because it's, it's showing you, uh, you know, the angels are showing themselves. And E is scared and they're afraid to admit that, that you know, that that uh, that these are what they call UFOs, man. And they're trying, they're trying their best to come up with an explanation, a scientific explanation for these things. But it's going to come to a point where they're going to see them so much that they won't be able to make an explanation. So anyway, with that. Akium, hope you enjoy this and uh you know don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button until the next video. Shalom, this is Elder Sakuran signing off. Shalom.